secret in their eyes. <laughs> I don't know for some reason when I say the title like that, I just have to sing it for some silly reason. But anyway, just saw the new movie for Secret in the Eyes starring Shitwata Edge for Julia Roberts and Nicole Kidman. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. I don't know, when it seemed like I was younger, it seemed like Julia Roberts was all over the place. But I guess she's taking it easy now. But now she's back in a new thriller trying to get a killer of her daughter and secret in their eyes. Now, I just wasn't over the moon excited about this, but it had a great cast. Julia Roberts, Chip Waitell, Edge of Fort, and Nicole Kidman. I mean, how can you lose with that? The trailers look so good. I mean, I knew that this was going to be great. I wasn't just excited for it, but... I was expecting to be at least entertained. And was I? Man, it wasn't good at all. And Julia Roberts wasn't even in the movie. I don't understand. One thing that I hated about this whole thing is it was a complete unnecessary form of storytelling that confused me as an audience member from beginning to end. Just starting out, you're getting an introduction of a reunion of characters that you don't know. And it goes from present day, then jumps back a number of years into the past. Now there's nothing wrong with that, but when you jump back and forth throughout the entire movie doing that, it shouldn't take the audience member 30 to 45 minutes to determine if we're watching a movie in present day or in the past. That was very confusing. I just didn't know. I couldn't concentrate on the dialogue because I'm like, okay, is this 10 or 12 years ago or is this happening today? Another thing that I didn't like about this movie is none of the characters are likable at all. Now you're on board with Chit Wattel Edgy for it, but when it gets to the end, I'm like, dude, I can't respect your character if you're going around and doing crap like this. Only, uh, you know, men go, don't go around and do that. But I just lost all respect for his character. Nicole Kidman, on the other hand, she's great in everything, but she's just a pretty face and doesn't do much in this movie. I mean, I'm not trying to knock her. She's a great actress, but she just doesn't do anything for me in this movie. And as far as Julia Roberts, she's just going around the movie like this the whole time. Is that justice? Are you serious? Now, before you jump on my case saying, well, wait a minute, Brandon, anyone would be acting like that if they lost their daughter and found her in the dumpster in the garage somewhere. I understand that, yes, I would be distraught too, probably acting worse than that. But I don't want to see that throughout the whole movie and the scenes that they make so great looking in the trailer do not transpire in the movie. I mean, as soon as those go by, you're like, oh man, that was it. I, I was waiting on that point right there to pop off, but no, there's no popping off. There's nothing. It's just her walking around like a mummy all the time. As far as the characters, like I said, no one is likable in this movie. Uh, Nicole Kidman is not. Julia Roberts is not. She will tell. Edgy for is not. Uh, Alfred Molina, he was the villain in Spider-Man 2. I mean, no one is likable in this movie. No one is helping out. No one is trying to figure out the case like you think they should when it's an innocent victim that got murdered and let alone a colleague of yours, his daughter. I mean, that just doesn't make sense. They're too preoccupied with something else. Yes, what they are preoccupied with is based off a real American tragedy, but this wasn't necessary for the film and it was a distraction. They could have used some other plot device to give a valid reason why they wasn't going full-fledged with the story that was promised in the trailer. This movie was just boring. The, the form of storytelling was just completely unnecessary. It was hard to grab a hold of. It clocks you in and out. And when I talk about shit would tell Edge for, if I were to sum this man's character up into one word, that would be dedicated because he is dedicated and I give him that. That is why I liked his character initially. But when it got to the end, man, I'm just like, dude, I can't get behind this type of behavior, man. You can't be going around doing stuff like this. That's, that's just pretty whack right there. And then the story tries to be all clever with some twist that is not even a twist. It's just a whack ass reveal. And I mean, through the whole movie, I'm thinking, okay, this is about a good seven. Okay, nothing is happening. Drop it down to about a six. Okay, this is pretty boring. Now, uh, it's kind of looking in the five range, the D plus C minus area. But, you know, okay, my expectations wasn't high. But then they try to throw this little twist at you. And then you're like, what the hell is this? Are you serious? It makes the whole movie a waste of time. I mean, if... Uh, 
if someone in this movie would have did this to me, it would have completely ended the friendship. I mean, are you serious? So you've been wasting my time this whole time? I mean, really? This is ridiculous. And then, I mean, I was like, fuck, this is drops down to like a one out of a 10. Like, oh man, this is like ending up to be like one of the worst movies I've seen all year. But hold on, I I'll say like the last two minutes, they did something that made me a little happy and I wanted to bump that up. And I only bump it up to a two. Yes, I give this movie a two. If I were to rate this movie out of a one out of 10, it gets a two out of 10. And that is pretty damn bad if you ask me. But hey, that is just my opinion, guys. Just because I thought this movie sucked something serious doesn't mean that you will. It's all subjective. So that's just what I thought about Secret in the Eyes. I didn't like it that much, but that's okay. If you like it, if you've seen it, if you haven't seen it, are you going to see it? Did I turn you off or did I turn you on? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you liked the video, go ahead and give me that thumbs up because it would really help me out a lot. And if you didn't like the video, you can still give me the thumbs up. And since you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get all the content that I have to provide in the past and in the future. If you would like a written review of this, it's already on the site. You can head on over to the website at www.justmyopinion.net. And if you're on Facebook, you can find the official Facebook page at facebook.com slash justmyopinion. And if you're into social media, which I'm sure you are, you can find me at Instagram and Twitter at justmyopinion84. So guys, Thank you again for tuning in for my review slash opinion on Secret In Their Eyes. Go ahead, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Give me that thumbs up. Find me on Facebook. Head over to the website, Instagram and Twitter, all that good stuff. So before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.